G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into costuming, you'll find DIY videos into furniture, and you'll find analysis into historical events, who are the main characters and why do things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, you might want to consider subscribing. Uh, in this video we're going to take a look at the Wenselessness Helmet by Medieval Fight Club. Alrighty, so we have a very basic construction of a Norman style helmet that would have been made popular throughout Northern Europe throughout the uh, 10th century and right through to... These were still being used well into the 14th century and beyond. Um, very simple construction, uh, pressed um, stainless steel construction, obviously not a medieval steel. Has a leather suspension system and a strap with a quite a distinct medieval style buckle, I like that. Good quality strap, this is approximately three millimeters thick of genuine leather, I like that as well. Left to right is 18.5 centimeters, front to back is 222 millimeters, the nose guard is uh, 91 by 29 millimeters. Uh, the weight is 982 grams and it's named after King Wentlessness who was the Duke of Bohemia between 907 and 935, probably assassinated by his own brother, yet to be <laughs> proven, but who knows. But that's the, the sort of the general consensus at, at the moment with the historians. Alrighty, so we have a really good helmet here. Uh, slightly more expensive at um, $136 than the, the basic Norman helmet. Um, but I really do like this. This again is about an 18 gauge helmet. Um, very, very good for sort of entry level into reenactment. It's really good for LARP and stage, those kind of things. Uh, it is a smaller helmet, so better for older kids, that kind of thing. Uh, teenagers, I guess. But um, if you want to be historically accurate, you need to be wearing a padded coif and also a chainmail coif. So I, I would prefer something bigger myself and we'll be having a look at some other options a little bit later. That said, I, I find it's a really good helmet. It's, it's really good construction. Um, I like the way it slopes down. Um, it's a really good conical shape and very easy to maintain. So um, I'm giving this an eight out of 10. I think it's a really fantastic piece of kit. Um, and I, I, I would thoroughly recommend this as a helmet. Alrighty guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.